Hi, welcome. It is Real Talks with Tim Tiger. This is the first episode. Um, this wasn't the intention anyway. The plan was to talk about something else, but because of what is trending now, I mean, the election was, election just got postponed. You know, everybody was ready for it on on, on Saturday, and boom, why men slept? I like postponed the election. And um, before and after that, I saw some things that triggered this this episode, this particular show of the talk show, Real Talks. I know, I, in my place of work, there's a woman that always says, I'm not going to go for that deal. I don't fit. I don't get time. Any any person, when God decides, make it go, make it take the place, person should be there. Then, and I also saw a post on Facebook, somebody saying that a particular pastor prophesied that the election was going to be postponed. And it was. And the person, what I heard saying, this man is a real prophet. Then, thirdly, someone... Uh, suggested why can't the church just stand up to this and take a decision and I remember telling them see this thing has nothing to do with that so that leads us to the topic we'll be discussing on today God has no hand in elections did I just say that yeah God has no hand in elections and that's it okay now let's, let's cut to the chase Leave it at these elections then other days we'll pick other things and talk about it but the basic and the guiding rule is that god doesn't interfere with man-made things election is man-made let me start with the first one the woman that said anybody that god wants to be there be there god doesn't want anybody to be there in particular god created everybody with the ability to lead Remember the scripture earlier told us that God created us in his image. God is a leader. So there's no... When I hear people saying, let's pray that the right person be there. God did not create any wrong person. Hello? There's nobody God created and tagged the person, a wrong person to lead. God created everybody with a pure mind. We learned culture, we learned languages, we learned hatred. God created everybody with love. And that's it. Whatever becomes of our future is what we decide. God already has his plan from the onset. Let me just quickly deal with the first one. God is not choosing anybody. We created the elections. Man created the elections. Man created the procedure through which the election will be carried out. And it is whatever comes out of the whole thing is as a result of our own decision. So you're saying, I'm not voting, God should decide. Trust me, you are one of the, those ringing the elections. God is not deciding anything. Is why you are told get your PVC and go out and vote. Of course, it's a bit it's, it's stressful, but what do you expect? We are expecting the good result, and you expect us to get it by sleeping at home. No, that's by the way. Secondly, when the elections was postponed, somebody said that a particular man of God, pastor, a prophet, prophesied it, and person was like, This man is a real prophet. Hello, hello, our minds. We are naturally meant to be able to see things through, make speculations, and make the necessary preparations. God, like I said, God doesn't have a hand. He cannot be interfering. God will not tell anybody that election will be postponed. He will not tell anybody who will win. You could only speculate it and predict it by following a particular basis. Now, I can tell you, Four years from now, Asu Strike is most likely to come back. Doesn't make me a prophet. Let's deal with this reality first. Funny enough, one of my friends, my very close friend, who supposed who, who was supposed to be an ANEC trainee, you know, working for working during this process for ANEC, on Friday told the mom that mom, see, I'm not seeing selection holding this Saturday. Again, one of my very good friends. She has not called herself a prophet. Your mind was meant to work like that and if your mind is not working like this i'm sorry you are not truly living trust me on that and it's one of the issues i have with the today church somehow they've deprived human beings of using their minds to the fullest in the name of prophecies in the name of miracles first corinthians 13 8 apostle paul said you see this gift of prophecy gift of speaking in your no tongues 
that everybody is craving for, thinking is one of the biggest deal, Apostle Paul said they will become useless. And that's the time we are now. They are so useless. I mean, oh, assuming it was really God that told that man of God that the elections were going to be postponed. Of what effect was it now? Tell me. I mean, God told him and he told people the elections were still postponed. Person was still disappointed. It simply means it's a useless deal. Trust me on that. And Apostle Paul went ahead to say the greatest gift now is love. And not until we, 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 we get to the root of that and let it be our guiding rule for leadership and every. Trust me, we'll keep dialing in all this corruption, we'll be ranting, and nothing's gonna work. Don't get the purpose of this video wrong. We are not faulting anybody. Are, I'm only trying to redirect your mind to a very reliable source of knowledge. This same prophet or apostle predicted or supposedly prophesied the last AKT state elections. He said, God has already said it that look at who is going to win. Boom! The ticket caught. Only for me to come back and tell us that what happened was that the other party prayed. And that was why they won. Hello? But since when did God start choosing people because they prayed? No! He, 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 that's not his duty. We, like I said, we human beings created the elections and the procedures for it. God should, would not. God has do this when God chooses leaders and kings and all that. Not anymore. You have to understand the liberty, the privilege, or the right you have. Because human beings are no longer using their power enough in the name of prophecy and the name of miracles. It is in your power to choose who's gonna be in front of you, who's gonna represent you. Stop waiting for one person to come and tell you in the name of prophecy and miracle. It's not gonna happen. What See, God has already done whatever he, he, you need from Him. You have a life, you have air to breathe, you have food to eat, you have plants, you have raw materials. Whatever you make out of these already available things, it's up to you. Don't God. We have roads, that's man-made. God created the lands. We made roads out of it. God created trees, plants, we make food out of it. Are you listening? When you were told, don't be carried away by the things of the world. These are the things that we are being told. The creation of man are the things of the world. Enjoy them, but don't be carried away. It's simple. So, the elections he prophesied, he said, the other, parties, the other party prayed, and so they now won. He now gave an instance from the scripture where God told a man to go and tell another man that he was going to die and the said man who was supposed to die prayed and God sent the same man back to him and told him okay I've added 15 years to your age he tried to use that as a backup can we we are we are, we are literally making God look like an author of confusion here And secondly, 2017, at the expiration of 2017, Daddy Freeze predicted that Nigeria was going to overtake India in poverty. Boom! Nigeria overtook India. India that is over a billion people, we have more poor people. We are just a hundred million, a hundred, almost, we are up to 200 million. Does that mean Daddy Freeze a prophet? Or does that mean it was God that told him? God has already structured things that in such a way your mind should be able to work like that. That's how he said, that's why he said he we were made in his image. You can see things through. All you need to do is decide to do it, and you you you, you do it. That if he has not called himself a prophet. I'm not faulting anybody, but I'm just trying to correct a very wrong impression because building on a wrong impression is is nothing sponsors failure like that it making you do a whole lot making you start doing every other, every other thing and leaving the most important thing lastly someone came and said can the church just decide on, on this election then another person said we should pray and all that prayer let me tell you elections good elections good economy 
the welfare of the nation has nothing to do with prayers. The 40 days fasting Nigeria just finished January here. I'm yet to see the results, but we'll talk about that next time. If good elections, good economy depended a bit on prayers, fasting, prophecy, the way you've been taught, India and China, they will not have a bit of what they have now. All these things depend on a deliberate decision. What do you want? You want something, you know how to get it. That thing you want has a substance. Ha that's why the Bible des describes faith as the substance of things hoped for. You cannot want to pluck mangoes, you'll be climbing an orange tree in the name of belief. That's it. You want a good leader, first of all. That's how, why there's room for campaigns. There's room for interviews. Go and listen. After hearing them out, strike a balance, make analysis, speculate. These are your work. To, the moment you leave your supposed duty, somebody will do it for you. And they will do it for their pockets. Nobody, has, nobody will be responsible for your failure. Listen to interviews. Go, to, go for campaigns. Gather all the information you, you got. Strike a balance. Look what has been happening. Checkmate what they are saying now. Use it to take a decision. You are you are eligible. Go and get a PVC. On that day, go and vote. These are the procedures for getting what you call a good leader. Not saying at home and praying for the nation. Or fasting that God should choose it. God also, he will not be looking at you. Imagine God decides to fold his hand and say God should choose. There will be no elections. The seat will be empty. It's as simple. And if you refuse to do your part, someone will do it for you. For their pockets. For their benefits. It's as simple as that. Elections are social, political, economic things. That need procedures for you to cook. And that's how life is generally now. According to what I read, those miracles and all these things were necessary for the early Christians. I mean, they needed something to rely on that. Okay, this is their God. Not anymore. If you are a Christian, you are a believer, you still need one miracle, one magical miracle. You are, you are not a believer. Don't leave it. I don't know for Islam, Muslims, really. I don't know whether they, they still have or they have to. The, the, the point now is this election. It's a social political thing. It is not something you wish and it happens the way you wish it. You have to go into actions. I mean, you want a good leader, You've, in your mind you must have already suggested who is going to rule Nigeria well, right? Take your PVC, go there and vote. First, said said everybody is afraid to die, but there's nothing to live for. In my case, you really have nothing to lose. Just go there and cast your vote. It doesn't take anything from you. The reason why so many persons have the opportunity to, 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 to interfere and manipulate things is because those that are supposed to do the things are falling their hands. What do you expect? You give room for some irregularities to be set as regular rules. It's that simple. Alright? Once again, you're waiting for God to do anything. He's not going to do anything. You know why he has done all he needs to do for you. It's your time. Take up the mantle, grab the bull by the horn, and go for it. All right. Um, so that'll be all for this episode of Real Talks with Tim Tiger Smiles. Follow us on Facebook, Real Talks TV, on Instagram, Real Talks underscore TV. Hit us up in the comment section. Ask your questions. We shall answer you. And. See you next time.